I'm going to start by applying a face primer to make sure my makeup stays on the whole day. Now it's time for foundation. My favorite one is the Nature Locks Foundation from CoverGirl. For concealer, I'm going to use the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller and this is the tinted one, so it works perfectly as concealer plus it really brightens up your under eye area. Last step before I move on to the eyes is going to be to set everything with a setting powder. I'm using my favorite setting powder of all times, which is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I'm going to start by applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lid. To make my eyeshadows appear a lot more vibrant, I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. For this look, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Palette and blue had me at a low. And the three shades I'm going to be using is this white, the silver, and the matte black right here. I'm going to start by taking the white color on a flat shader brush and applying this to the first half of my lid. Next, I'm going to take a smaller brush and the silver color and apply this to my outer corner. I'm also going to go ahead and drag it into my crease. And with a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend it out. If you felt like you lost a little bit of the white, you can go ahead and reapply it. Next, with a small angled brush, I'm going to take a little bit of the matte black and very lightly apply it into my crease. And then of course blend it out. Next I'm going to go back to the silver and apply this on my lower lash line. If you feel like you have a little bit of fallout on your face, you can go ahead and use your foundation brush to just clean that up. Now I'm going to take some fun glitter liner. This one is silver to match the overall look and it is from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line. Now it's time for black liner. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I love, love, love the brush on this. It's so easy to apply. Last step will be to curl those lashes and apply some mascara. This is the Urban Decay Super Curl Curly Mascara and it is my absolute favorite mascara ever. I'm so, so happy I got to try this. This mascara is amazing. For blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight a little bit and this is the e.l.f. Radiant Enhancer in the shade Spotlight. Now I'm going to do just the tiniest bit of contouring with this e.l.f. Baked Bronzer in Los Cabos. Okay, now it's time for the lips. I'm going to be using something really fun and pink and cute. And I'm using the Revlon Lip Butter and Strawberry Shortcake. And then on top of that, I wanted to put something really sparkly. So I'm going to be using the MAC Dazzle Glass and Baby Sparks. Now let's move on to the hair. So I'm going to start by taking a little sprayer and putting some water in it. And I'm going to dampen my hair just the tiniest bit. And now I'm going to just shake it a little bit to make it 
tiniest bit curly and also distribute the water. And now I'm going to take some hairspray. This is the L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray. And I'm going to spray a little bit of this on my fingertips and work it into my roots. Now I'm going to take my halo and place it in my hair. Now I'm just going to take my hair and pin it back so it will cover the headband. Lastly, I'm going to twist all of my hair to the side. And I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray and just spray this entire thing. Now I'm going to hold it for a few seconds till it's completely dry. Now I'm just going to take this part into a few different curls. And what we're left with are these really nice twisty curls to the side. Now let's move on to the costume. I started by taking a white dress. This one is from H&M and it's super beautiful. It has all this like dots all over it and it's really really pretty. Plus it's cinched in right around the waist so it looks really nice. Then I just bought this really cute angel wings. I love them. I have them for years now so I really don't know where they're from. But you can probably get them in any store that sells costumes. They're really nice. Plus they have silver all around them, so they really match with the makeup. Plus it comes with this really cute halo that I already showed before in the hair section of this tutorial. But yeah, I love this costume. I think it's so cute and very feminine. The shoes I chose to pair with this outfit are these really cute sandals from J Bloom. I think they look super delicate and they really match with the entire outfit. So this is an overview of the entire costume. So it has the wings, the halo, the white dress, and of course, the really cute shoes. <laughs> so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're planning to dress up as an angel, then let me know in your comments below. Or if you want to see any other tutorials for any other costumes, then leave them below as well. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!